okay, let's watch what happens when somebody stops breathing, or in this case, while I hold my breath. The capnography has dropped to nothing. There's no more waveform. I'm holding my breath right now, simulating the apnea. That capnometry number, though, still says 40, 39, and a respiratory rate of 19. That's going to lag for a little bit. But look at the O2 sat on the bottom. Still at 98%. Nothing's really changed. At this point, I've been apneic or holding my breath for about 30 seconds and still 99% on the O2 sat. And that capnometry number, if we weren't watching the waveform, just now finally turned to zero. 99% O2 sat on a patient that's not breathing. You can see the value of capnometry. I finally couldn't hold my breath any longer. And so you see those big breaths blowing off that retained CO2, hence the number 50. This is why capnography is such an important addition to your patient monitoring. It gives you instant feedback about patient's ventilatory status that O2 saturation just can't provide, allowing you to intervene earlier before serious and irreversible problems develop.